Hi guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. I had to take a couple days off, but I'm back. Welcome to A Few Kids and Me. It is Saturday, February the 11th, 2023, and it's 8.54 p.m. <clears throat> so guys, I look at Saturday. Oh my good God. Give me a second, which won't be a second. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. So, guys, um, I appreciate you for stopping by to see what's going on here today. I appreciate you guys for helping me in this channel advance. I um also want to tell you guys, if you've never been here before, I do Oracle, I do Index, I do three decks. <clears throat> okay? And I look at Saturday as the Sabbath, so I incorporate a different um, tarot at the end. The fourth tarot deck is called Rotomundi, and it has, like, biblical references and stuff like that. So i just kind of tell you in advance. So let's see. I need these here, Angel Guide Oracles, so I can pull and see what type of energy we're picking up on today. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is acting up a little bit. <clears throat> Bert Sharper wants to lock up as soon as I get back on. It's been like that for the past couple hours. So uh, we're going to go right on through it. So, however, I hope you guys are all doing well out there. I hope you guys had a good, lovely day. And I um, hope it was a productive day. And yeah, hope you're just enjoying life, period. So. Do it like that one more time. And do it like this a couple of times. And then let's see what we get. One more time. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, my brother was trying to call, but it's like I answered the phone. I was going to talk to him, too, but he hung up as soon as I answered. I said, oh, well, send him a text. I'll call you back in about an hour when I finish with this reading. I hope it's a card I've never gotten before. <laughs> I get really amped up like, and excited when I see cards that I've never seen in a deck. Like, ooh, new card, new energy, new... Okay. I have seen this card before, but it's all good. So it says here, inner child healing. Okay. So sometimes we have to love on ourselves and heal ourselves, and heal, our, heal our inner child, and so on and so forth. So here we have it. It says here, <clears throat> your message. Excuse me. The inner child is the part of our psyche that represents our childhood. Everyone, no matter who they are, has had traumatic childhood experiences that may be impacting their life today and you have endured so much in your life you are a real survivor drawing this card indicates that no matter what has happened you have found a way forward you may feel that you have had to grow up quickly and abandon your innocence in order to survive but know that when you reflect, review, and release anything from your childhood that could be holding you back, the next phase of your life will be supported. This isn't about forgetting, but about taking the time to send loving energy to your inner child and to assure them that they do make it through and become the incredible person you are today. Extended message says, here guys. This card brings radical healing, understanding, and love to your inner child. It shows that your guardian angel is wrapping their arms, their loving arms, around you right now. 
nurturing your inner child and encouraging you to unleash your childlike senses. See the world through the eyes of a child. There is so much wonder and opportunity out there. It's time for some fun. <clears throat> what can you do to feel light? What can you do to express yourself? Have you stopped yourself from doing something because you feel you're too old for it now? It's time to reclaim your innocence and express yourself in a way that is filled with excitement, wonder, and adventure. It's time for your inner child to be healed. So it's okay to get out there and want to go jump rope or, you know, whatever you used to do when you were a child. There's nothing wrong with it. You're never too old for anything. Okay. So <clears throat> get out of that mind frame, first of all. Okay. So let's go to these here. Um index cards and let's see what i get from these cards okay so um you're never too old and you know yes we've all been through um situations when we were younger that may have caused a little excuse me trauma in our lives <clears throat> but yes you made it through right you made it through so you are fine but it's also fine to go back and remind yourself that, you know, it's okay to be that young person again, especially if you grew up too fast uh, because of, you know, some sort of traumatic situation uh, that you dealt with or, you know, was your life when you were, you know, a little younger. You know, a lot of us... Uh, well, I, I can't say a lot of us, but a lot of the times those traumatic situations come uh, about with our parents not having a solid foundation or, you know, parents arguing and fighting and stuff like that. And or, you know, <clears throat> a single parent and you feel like you need to help your parent because, you know, they're out here struggling or whatever the case or stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, we all have different stories, you know. My parents fought all the time when I was younger, you know, to the point to where I couldn't understand why they were together. You know, at 10 years old, I remember telling my mom, why are you with him? You know, <laughs> like, this is crazy, you know. But, you know, it, things are what they are, you know. And you don't understand everything as a child either, you know, what adults go through and, you know, why they're arguing and all that. You know, it's just crazy. But it's okay to tap back into your childlike heart or manner from time to time. It's all right. You're not going to hurt anybody. Who cares who's watching? Just be be you in, in every moment of your life, you know. All right. So let's see what we get. Okay. All right, here we go. That's a lot. Over here now. up here today. One more time. You're so smooth when I'm around you. I can't keep my cool. Maybe someone's just like, you are just so smooth. You're just too smooth. You've been that way for a long time. 
Afraid to show your other side, you know? Like, it's okay. You're all right. You can be a little uh, childlike from time to time. Watch cartoons or whatever, you know? <laughs> Want to play hide and seek or something? I don't know. I'm just talking. Um, <laughs> let's see what we get. One more time. I guess it came out. Okay. 20 minutes ago, I know what happened 20 minutes ago, y'all. Okay. And here's the last set. Says retract your steps. Yeah, retract your steps. Go back and figure out some of the things that you wanted to do when you were younger. You know, it may spark something in you. You know, you never know. Wow. Okay. That definitely may. Wake somebody up. Oh my gosh. All right. Here we go. So, I said, wow, and oh my gosh, because two different things came out. So, here it says, you like taking naps or your beauty rest is important. All right. Let's take this down so we can all see what's going on. All right. <clears throat> naps. Beautiful. <laughs> Life is good. Yes, it is. All right. The night is young. It is Saturday night. A lot of y'all may be getting ready to go out or out or something like that. Who knows? Be safe out there. It says we are weak, but he is strong. Call on him. All right. God is everywhere. You guys are a match made from the heavens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe you like to ride motorcycles or you own a motorcycle. What? Hmm, I don't know. Something got you. Like, what are they talking about? What? I don't believe this. What? Something. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Okay. You have a secret crush. All right. There goes that secret crush again. But as you have one, this time, not just secret crush, like you're trying to figure it out. You have a secret crush. Okay? <laughs> Follow your instincts. Okay. And we have here legit. So you're pretty legit. You're so smooth. We got this taken care of. You, you've climbed the ranks. You're at the position and place where you're just like, I'm a boss. Single life ain't too bad. Maybe you're single out here. You know, you have a crush though. Time for new scenery. We have 11, 11. All right, guys. Seeing those angel numbers out there. And maybe you're a hairstylist. Okay. You would have never thought, but yep, for sure. You have royal DNA in you, royal DNA bloodline. Legit. Yeah, you about your business. All right, here we have someone's name starts with the letter R, middle name, last name. Okay, there's that 111, or excuse me, 
maybe 111 or yeah, 1111. That's why I was like, oh, wow. It's like you got that twice. So maybe someone has an abnormal vibe that's around you. Okay. Maybe you ride the metro train a lot. Someone's life um, needs a boost. Maybe yours, you never know. Make some vacation plans. That doesn't mean anything bad, you know. Need a boost, just like a change, you know. Something. Someone's two-faced, wishy-washy, one day, yeah, next day, nah. Culinary arts, maybe someone goes to school for learning how to cook. Here you have teenage children. So yeah, like tap in with your teenagers and tap in when you were that young, you know, and what was going on in your life and what, the, you know, how your mind operated and what you thought you were going to do with your life and how it changed and tap in with your children. You know, they're still children. No matter how old they think they are. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe someone's a homemaker. Stay at home mom. The most high is all over it. Okay. There it is again. I was like, oh wow, for the one for the one 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 and for the have teenagers. Have teenagers and teenage children, so yeah. Don't blink. You might miss it. Watch closely. Someone's name starts with the letter D. Middle name or last name. And then we have the letter W. So I have an RDW. You're very supportive. You or someone else. Maybe you're a musician. Miscommunicated often. Someone's all in your business. You get your hustle on our day. Our day. Our day. <laughs> Um, you love R&B music. Breathe, Jill Scott. Take a long walk and sip some lemonade. Take your clothes off and relax in the shade. Just breathe. Breathe, baby. Okay? Just take a deep breath and let it out. All right, real estate investor. You speak many languages. Hola, como estas? Muy bien. Gracias. Okay. God is watching everything. The Most High is all over it. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's here watching everything all the time. Checking and balancing our lives. Life is good. Okay. So maybe you're a real low key person, not with a whole lot of friends, you know, in your circle. And here, uh, Mexican food lover, burritos and tacos and enchiladas and empanadas and the whole thing, right? So <laughs> I appreciate you guys for sitting there through that. Okay. So let's get it i was gonna go either one of these so i think that what i'll do is i'll use both of them all right so here we go so yes life is good all right god is watching everything the most high is over everything we are weak but he is strong call on him somebody may have some abnormal vibes around you okay life may need a little bit of a boost Make some vacation plans. You're a very supportive person or a musician also. Maybe some two-faced people around you, kind of wishy-washy. Don't be afraid of the unknown. You're seeing one, 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 one a lot, okay? Maybe you have teenagers. Maybe you're trying to go to culinary school. Maybe like taking naps. Maybe you ride the metro train uh, a lot, okay? Maybe you love Mexican food, all right? Uh, maybe you're a hairstylist. The night is young. If you're going out, be safe. Maybe you ride a motorcycle. Single life is not too bad. You have royal DNA bloodline. And um, don't blink. You might miss it. Don't forget to breathe. 
All right. Maybe you're a real estate investor. You speak many languages. You love R&B music. You get your hustle on every day. Maybe someone's a homemaker, stay-at-home mom. Someone's all in your business also. You would have never thought. But yep, for sure, follow your instincts, okay? You have a secret crush out there. And um, you guys are made or a match made from the heavens, all right? You're legit. And um, you're real low-key, not a lot of friends. And maybe your name, middle name, or last name starts with the letters R, D, R, W. All right. And um, time for a new scenery, okay? And uh, like I said, I don't know if I said it. You have teenagers, and you're miscommunicated often, okay? All right. And what if I didn't say that either? <laughs> so here we go. This is the first deck. I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. And I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so very much. Here we go. One more time. All right. Mm. Okay. Right. Oh, shit. Two of Cups right off the top. We're talking about love. We're talking about a relationship. That's the way I see Two of Cups anyway. So it says you guys are a match made from the heavens. Okay. So, and you have teenagers. Maybe you've been with this person for a very long time. Maybe you got with them when you were a teenager. Who knows? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Or maybe this is your secret crush secret crush person <laughs> okay I'll keep that one first so I have here first a, a uh, queen of pentacles so you're very sufficient you're out here making your money doing your thing you know taking care of business pretty legit individual here maybe you are this real estate investor I'm not too sure okay do something that um Makes you some pretty good, decent money. You're comfortable. All right. Okay. You're holding the coin, my dear. It's in your in your possession. <laughs> okay. And you have here four of wands in reverse. So I'm not going to say that your that your foundation isn't solid because you're the queen of Pentacles. I'm just going to say that you're not married at this time. It says single life ain't too bad. Okay. And you have a secret crush. You guys are a match made in heaven. Maybe you have teenagers though. Or a teenager or something of that nature. So here, oh gosh, Ace of Cups. So, okay, single life's not too bad. Mm, this one flew out too. So I'm going to put this one up underneath the Queen of Coins, okay? So just be careful um, uh, because you are single, because you are sitting on top of your world. Just be careful of energies that want to try to come and throw you out of a, a, a normal vibe or something like that. Because you have abnormal vibe up here and you have two-faced wishy-washy, okay? So, you know, people may be trying to get at you and whatnot, but, you know, just just use your discernment, okay? You guys watching everything. If you have somebody out here that really does want to be all, like, hugged up, linked up with you, okay? Well, that's what it looks like anyway with the Ace of Cups. Okay. Unless this is you being single and uh, loving on yourself and what you do, something in particular. But I, I, I don't look at it like that. So here you are, yes, in a place where you're you're fine, you're feeling good. You know, like I said, single life ain't too bad. You've been doing fine, you know, fulfilled in your space. Like I said, everything in your world is like going pretty dang good right now, you know. Your money's right. You're able to make vacation plans and 
It says life is good. You're you're good. You're not struggling in any type of way. You're a, a nine of cup and a queen of pentacles. You're you're doing good for yourself. Okay. You never would have thought, but yeah, maybe coming out of that place of a teenager having to help your mom or something like that, where you evolved, went to college, and was able to still sit on top of your thing and and come this far. So here, the two cards fell out. Temperance in reverse and then Eight of Swords. Up underneath Four of Wands, Foundation. So maybe you were married, right? Or something. Maybe you're divorced, you know, with the Temperance in reverse. Like some things were unbalanced. And here, with the constant uh, thinking, going around, going around in your mind about things, you know. Um, you... Yeah, it says you would have never thought, right? So you probably never thought that your foundation would have been unbalanced, you know what I mean? Um, and it was something that, you know, bothered you, you know, maybe because you did have the children or so, or something of that nature. You didn't know how you were going to make it on your own or something like that. But you realize that it's not that bad, okay? So here, Ace of Wands up underneath this Ace of Cups. I'm just looking at that like you're not looking for it right now, you know, because you're in your own little world, um, just taking care of yourself and, and your family if you have these children, okay? But you you probably thought that you were going to have this perfect, like, you know, uh, life and all these things, but here you have the moon next. So that's talking about emotions. And with the Ace of Wands, like, you know, yeah, maybe you do think about love from time to time. Maybe that's something that uh, no one ever would think because you just got out of a relationship and you're doing so well for yourself and all this here. But, you know, like you don't talk about it much, you know, or you're not. It's not like your main focus, you know, like maybe when you go out and talk to friends and stuff, you're not talking about oh, how you can't wait to be in a new relationship or something like that because you keep it hidden or something like that. Or you're not really paying attention to it or trying to paint that part of your life because you just got out of a relationship, but there is someone that sees you and you don't know that. It does say secret, right? You got a secret crush. So there's something hidden. There's this cup of love that somebody wants to offer you. Someone sees you. Someone's been watching you. I've been watching you for so very long. <laughs> Someone's been watching you. I'm trying to get their courage up to speak to you. Uh, a king of wands is trying to gain the courage to come and speak to you. Oh my gosh. Here you have the Six of Cups. Here next. And then you have here Two of Wands. Like you're trying to maybe figure out which way to go. Or maybe he is someone, if he's known you for some time, he's watching you or something like that. And maybe he's trying to figure out which way to go or if he should approach you or something like that. Okay. And I know every time I see a reading like this, I'm like thinking of all the people I know. Like, you know, I had um I had another read on my other channel, and someone said, I you and other readers keep saying that this person from the past is gonna come back. What's up with that? You know, I've been waiting for years. I you know, and I said, Well, maybe the read's just not for you. And also when you're looking for something, it never happens. But you know, I'm like the same way, you know, like how that person was, you know, it's just like you you get a reading and you're like, someone a secret crush, like who was this person? You start thinking about everybody you know, like who who could it be? You know? <laughs> someone I've known. Who is this? You know? I mean, it could be anybody. It could be an old co-worker from like ten years ago at one of your first jobs or something. You never know. You know, found you on Facebook, just been looking at you or something. You know, you just never know. So here you have the Ten of Wands. So that's you putting down your burdens and stuff. Like I said, you've been in this space where you've been taking care of 
you know, yourself or your children and your foundation is so solid, you know, and five of cups, whoever you're, who you were married to, they, they really disappointed you. So it's like, you're, like I said, you're not really looking for love, you know, like that, you know, um, like, where is it? You know, I, I know love's out here for me. It's like, you're really not like thinking about it like that, I think that's really what that moon is and the ace of wands in reverse. Like you're not trying to paint a perfect picture of love. It's just like you don't know that there's this person that was two cards that's actually um looking at you. Yeah, with the world in reverse, they haven't said nothing to you yet. There's nothing even going on. This is like completely like, yeah, a secret. And they're trying to figure out which way to move forward, you know. If they should tell you, if they shouldn't tell you. Wow, that's crazy. So here, the sun, you're so bright. You're so beautiful. Wow. All right, guys, here's the second deck. So, I mean, yeah, life may need a boost. You may need a little bit of, you know, fun times. This is a night is young, you know. Go out on a little dinner date, you know, if someone asks you out or something like that. And go dance to some R&B music. <laughs> well, follow your instinct. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. I'm just reading some cards. All right. So here we go. Second deck. I appreciate you guys for being here with me today. Let's see what we get. A few gifts. One more time. All right. Give me a second. The lovers. So if you ended up in the situation with this king of wands it would be you just taking the love away from yourself and choosing to be in a relationship with someone you know because you are just like i said you're just out there pretty solid just taking care of your business you know enjoying the fruits of your labor you know, uh, relaxing and just being comfortable. That's really all I get from you at this time, you know, and you're, you were married and they disappointed you. Okay. Oh, wow. So like I said, you're very comfortable. It's like 10 of pentacles. <sighs> Whatever you do, you make good money. You make very good money and you're pretty secure by yourself. And here it is again, nine of cups. You're, you're so comfortable in your own skin. That's what that, yeah, single life ain't too bad. Nine of cups. You're very comfortable. Um, and you would have never thought, you know, being in this space. And um, with this hangman, you gain perspective over your life, you know, and how you want it to be. You've, you've had a lot of time to think about your future and what you want, if you want to allow anyone back into your space. Wow, with the hair font, you're very centered. You have God. God is with you. God is watching everything. The Most High is all over everything. Yeah. So... You know, when you were weak, he was strong. He helped you, guided you. Since you were a young teenager, you have teenagers. That's not easy. Oh, shoot. That's not easy either, being a parent to, to teenagers. You know, I have them. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me make sure that these are all going the right way before I start back over here. Yeah, things fall apart, but you know, you, you can call on God, you know. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So you're very happy at this time in your own space. And uh, you probably just got out of a marriage. 
And here you have a brand new beginning, something that's about to start for you. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that this person is going to come in and give you this offer. It could be, you know, they want to give you this whole cup, ace of cup and ace of coin. Like that, this is all for you, you know, a secret crush. Possibly, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Wow. Now we have the world. <laughs> again, where the world is right here in reverse. Now in the last card, we have the world again. So maybe you mean that much to this person. I don't know who this person is looking at you. Um, but they it, it seems like they want to give you some fresh brand new start. Like, you know, like it's going to be worth it this time. Like, I love you or something like that. They didn't or you know, I don't know. And then you have here two of swords. So you're blinded by something. What? I'm not sure. Um, Let's take the seers. Oh, let's take the seers and see what's going on here. Oh, you're blinded by the fact that you don't know who it is. That's what you're blinded by. You don't know who this person is. It's crushing on you this hard. They must know you to be wanting to give you this type of love or something like that. Um, hmm. Like, you don't know who it is. It's a secret. <laughs> wow. Well, whoever it is, I just hope that, you know, they're, you know, it's genuine and it's not this devil energy, you know, trying to come in and take over, like, give you a new offer, but then, you know, like their attitude and their behaviors are just, um, demanding and, um, overwhelming, overpowering, you know, obsessive and stuff like that. That's not, no. You didn't eat, don't, mm -mm, like, you don't want to get involved with something. Your life is going so good and you're so comfortable. And, you know, just to get involved with someone that's going to torment that and take away that vibrant sun energy that you have right now. Okay. So, yeah, follow your instincts. Follow your guides. Pray about it. All right. One more time. And this is the uh, third deck guys so i really do appreciate you guys for being here with me come back and rock it here with me anytime i appreciate your time and your energy and uh yeah after this i got one more deck and then i'll wrap up this reading here so let's go So just be strong, you know, understand uh, God is all over this and you have been through a lot in your life and you've gotten this far, you know, um, but it is okay to, you know, be a little light sometimes and, um, you know, kind of relax you know because you worked so hard to get where you are you know hmm so now we have the world again so that's the world three times so it's just like it says travel plans okay uh so this was the first one in reverse and then you had this one second and now this one's coming out last but now this one lasts on the top of the read. I look at it like, you know, like you're vibrant, you're full of energy, you know, and um, maybe you want to go and see the world, the travel plans, you know, and you're just, you're just doing things. You're enjoying your world. Literally, you're in your own world, enjoying your life right now. And so here with the emotions being hidden um 
like like I said, you're enjoying your own world and some things are hidden and you can't see what's going on in someone else's world and how they feel about you. But you have some some very great um intuition, you know, um about things, you know, like like I said, if you're dating around or you start dating or something of this nature, um uh, use discernment, you know. And follow your follow your instincts. And when something doesn't feel right, so use that intuition that you have. Don't second guess yourself uh, when something comes around. Okay. Well, well. Oh, it's two cards. I only need one right now. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to put it in reverse. Hold on. So, first card out was the Ten of Cups. So, like I said, you're fulfilled. You're in your space. Now, if this person comes along and gives you this Ace of Cups, yeah, you can have a Ten of Cups situation if it's really that, you know. But, you, like I said, you just got out of a situation, you know, marriage and all this stuff. Or maybe not just, just, but you were already married, you know, and things were unbalanced. So, it's just like... I don't think that you're uh, doubting that there could be something like that for you, but you're really just not focused on that at this time. So if this person comes in your life and offers you real love and is genuine, yeah, you couldn't go to the Ten of Cups because it's with someone because you're already at the nine. You had the twice. So now you have here the Ten of Pentacles. Well, you already had the Ten of Pentacles. But if someone else comes into your life with this Ace of Pentacles, well, I guess that makes you guys even more abundant, right? So you had the Ten of Pentacles twice. You had the Nine of Cups twice. You had the Moon twice. Okay. Um, You had the World three times. Okay. So yes, you are happy in your own world. You want to go see the world. You know, this situation... They haven't told you anything. It's nothing started or anything like that. But they may want to also offer you the world. Okay. And here with the Eight of Pentacles, you, you, you like, first thing that came to my mind literally was maybe you're, you're older. Okay. Just like when I had that read for uh, your older guy, you know, like a retired person. You Maybe you're not retired, but there's no more needing to kind of like work on yourself. You kind of got to a point where you are just so smooth. You just, you really, you know, what, there's not too much more working on yourself. You kind of got all that down pat, you know, um, there's nothing that you're trying to hone in on or focus on or anything like that. Okay, so here you have page of pentacles. Uh, so that's um, an investment, you know, some small sort of something. Or thinking about, you know, maybe <laughs> getting something started or, you know, who knows, something small, you know, nothing major, you know. So, however the case, here's the fourth deck. Let me grab the box. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, and thank you. And, of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. Here's the fourth deck. Let's shuffle through these here. And let's get three cards to top off the reading. And read for each card. And that will be the rest of this here reading, guys. So, let's see what we get. Time. 
I literally just saw like someone sliding down a slide at a park. Like it's okay to be childlike sometimes. Just seriously, just be free, you know, like it's okay, you know. It is okay. So here with the Eight of Swords, here, you had that card here too. Like, you know, like I said, unbalanced and you never thought that, you know, you would be okay by yourself and, you know, you never come this far in life to be unbalanced and this and that and this and that. But then it's really the Eight of Wands, okay, which is movement forward. Um, I'm not going to get into that card right now, but... Is this three cards? Yes, it is. All right. And at the bottom, you have the sun again. So you have the sun over here. Okay. Vibrant energy. All right. So, wow. And I keep getting this card. We had this one last Saturday, too. I think it was the last card, too. Interesting. So, you have here the Ten of, um, it looks like it's the Ten of Pentacles, right? And we had that card twice. But it's really the Ten of Wands. And you had that card also. So, it's like you put down burdens already, okay? But I'm going to read first, alright? So, give me, give me a second before I start talking about what I think. All right, <laughs> ten of wands. All right, so here we go. So let's go. It says the Sephira of Malkuth, or kingdom. Excuse me. <laughs> represents the physical world and the universe. It is the manifestation of the will of God, and is the only separate in the world of action. Within the world, humans are given free will, and they must discern between good and evil. Like I said here with this king of uh, wands and then the devil right up underneath it. You know, you, you're starting to date or you are dating, you just always... You know, or even if this person comes back around, you know, just with your intuition, use your discernment that God has given you, okay? And hope that it's not in this devil energy, this person. Okay, so here we have it. Let me go back here. And we must discern between good and evil, which is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. On an almost daily basis, with the intent being that they will learn to become like God by understanding the difference between good and evil. Genesis 3 and 22. People are given ample opportunities to demonstrate empathy and love for their fellow man and to come to the aid of those in need. Matthew 25 and 44. People are elevated on the basis of how they use the talents they are given. Matthew 25 and 14 through 30. And everyone will be judged according to their own deeds. Psalms 33, 15, 1 Peter 1, 17, and Revelations 20 and 12. The name of God associated with Malkuth is Adonai Haaretz, which means Lord of the earth. God being the Lord of the earth and everything in it, as well as the purity of his seekers, is expressed at the beginning of Psalms 24, chapters 1 through 6. The word Adonai is used during prayer in place of the proper name of God. When speaking about God in other contexts, the word Hashem is used in place of the Tetragrammaton. The element associated with Malkuth is earth, which is also what Adam was created from, Genesis 2 and 7. The color associated with Malkuth is citrine, which can range from a color of gold, yellow to gold to reddish brown and refers to the red earth Adam was formed out of, or the alchemist quest for gold 
which in the Rider Way deck is represented by a dry stream bed of the River Pishon that leads back to the Garden of Eden. The Minor Arcana card selected to represent the ten of the pinnacle, the tens in, oh my God, excuse me. The Minor Arcana card selected to represent the tens is the Ten of Pentacles which shows the pentacles arranged in shape of the Kabbalistic tree of life. An old man is seen in the foreground petting a pair of dogs while observing a couple and their child standing in the archway. The old man can be few, viewed as the Ancient of Days observing the activities of those on the earth. The male, female, and child represents a couple who has obtained balance, having followed the mitzvah of being fruitful and multiplying the presence of the Kabbalah tree also suggests balance and completion. The exact nature of what is occurring on the card is subjective and can be interpreted in different ways, which is why the tarot is such an effective tool for extracting subconscious in impressions. <clears throat> the image could represent a person and child attempting to gain access to the old man, but being delayed by a guard who is holding a spear. Or the archway might be viewed as a two-way mirror being used by God to observe the lives of a family while the child pets a dog in the physical world. The same dog is being petted from within the spiritual plane of existence. The Sephira of Malkuth is also associated with the pages of the court card and represents the disciples of the knight or the Messiah who are learning from the knight in order to be of service to the king. The second hay becomes the old of its own cycle. Uh, so basically um going back to the first couple of sentences here um this here card represents the physical world okay and um the manifestation of the will of god and action and um how we're given free will and being able to discern between the good and the evil you know uh like you've already put down your burdens don't allow something else to be a burden to you okay so choose wisely and then here the second one it uh, looks like two of pentacles so let me find that card i mean <laughs> the the page for the card is very short okay so here guys it says this card the two of pentacles and, and, and the way I look at a normal tarot card, um, a normal two of pentacle tarot card, I look at it like uh, balancing your past, your present, and your future. Okay. So in terms of, yes, ten of pentacles, I mean, ten of wands, you've put, you've already put down your burdens of your life. You're sitting comfortable. You're sitting pretty. You know, in your far past, maybe, you know, you came from a space where you had to grow up too fast, helping out, and you, you're fine and balanced. You went through divorce and all these other things, you know, and that was your past, your present. Now you're focused in your future. You're not really looking towards anything, but if something comes towards you, just be mindful of what you've already been through, and you don't want to go through those things again, okay? So here you have two of pentacles excuse me guys and it says here <clears throat> the two of pentacle card is titled um uni cursal hexagon <clears throat> and shows one of the secret shapes that can be found within the tree of the sephirot the unicursal hexagram is used in practical kabbalah because it can be made in one continuous motion the following says the following saying was devised to express related concepts while tracing the universal hexagram, starting and finishing at Kether. Seek the Lord your God with all your heart and soul, and you will find him. Deuteronomy four twenty nine and Hebrews eleven and six. From him or Kether, you can receive Kabbalah victory over death okay i'm sorry receive is the word kabbalah so it says from him which is kether you can receive which is kabbalah victory which is netzach over death first corinthians 
15, 55 through 57. He will grant you understanding, which is Banah, of his mysteries, Colossians 2 and 2 through 3, Daniel 10 and 12. So you can build upon a firm foundation, Yezod, Matthew 7, 24 through 25, or Proverbs 10 and 25, and dwell with wisdom, which is the word Shokma, Proverbs 1 and 33, or Ecclesiastics 7 and 12. Through Christ, you too may be glorified, which is the word hold, and that's Romans eight seventeen, or chapter 30, or verse 30, excuse me, and can earn a crown, or your kether, 1 Peter 5 and 4, or Revelations 3 and 11. So with this card, like I said, balancing your life and all of that stuff, like I said, God is, God is watching God is everything. God is all over everything. When you were weak, he's strong. You know, with him, what did it say? Seek the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and you will find him. And you had the Hierophant card out here. So you knew that he was there for you your whole life. And you made way. And you were sitting in a, in a position when your foundation even got shook up, when you didn't know what to do, how you were going to move forward. But you had been through tough times before in your younger life, you know, and uh, you got through that and you remembered God and you said, you know what? It doesn't matter if I, if my marriage got shaken up. I'm going to continue to do what I have to do and, and be in a comfortable place. And that's where you are now. And, um, he grants you the understanding of understanding <laughs> that part that he has you, you know, and, um, that's a beautiful thing, you know, and, uh, that's why you're comfortable. So here you have now the last card. It's Ace of Cups. And uh, Ace of Cups. How interesting because this was your third card out, right? Ace of Cups. And you have the Ace of Cups sitting up there. Okay. So if someone wants to offer you this cup, okay, that's cool. Let's see what it says here at the bottom. So it says here, the Ace of Cup is titled Solve et Coagula, which means dissolve and coagulate. And includes related images from the Aurora Constrigens, or Rising Dawn, and Le Splendor Solis, which is the brightness of the sun. You have the sun card twice. It shows the black stage of alchemy where the king and queen were beheaded as in the chemical wedding of uh, Christian Rosencruz, which seems to Christian Rosencruz to be a very bloody wedding. However, the dark symbolism serves only as a metaphor to describe the process. Before the, alchem before the alchemy process can begin, the plant or substance must be broken apart before its essence could be extracted. Unless a grain of wheat dies, it cannot be reborn into new life. John 8, 24, 12, 24, and 1 Corinthians 15, 36. Before the purified parts can be recombined, they first must be separated. Uh, the solve et coagula process involves separating the gold and silver from the dross. So here, like I said, you've been through so much and being able to decipher and discern and living your life and all of these things and where you're at, you know, you like you don't want to be torn apart again, you know, um, and go through any more alchemy processes of anything. It's like I just um, I just I just sense that. You're very comfortable where you are, you know, um, but however the case, you know, for something to be reborn, you know, some sort of love situation, you have things have to get, you know, uh, broken down, <laughs> chopped up, broken down. But uh, it's like you, you've already been through that process, you know. Um, so, in terms of a new love, you know, I, I guess, 
I don't know. In terms of a new love, wanna, let me look at that one more time. Um, unless a grain of wheat dies, it cannot be reborn in a new life. Like I said, you've already been through this process, you know. Before the purified parts can be recombined, they first must be separated. Well, like I said, I think you've already been through this process, you know. But if, you know, this new person wants to come about, they just have to understand that you've already been through all of that, you know. And um, you'll be able to use this here high priestess intuition that you have to discern if they're worthy or not, you know. So you um take care out there, Ophicus, and um I'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.